What's up guys? Welcome back to Morimoto Lighting. I'm Bear Dellinger and today we're going to be doing some four banger installs on a 2021 and up Ford Bronco. If you want a little bit more of that aftermarket off-road feel for your Bronco, well, we have something in store for you and it is the Morimoto Four Bangers. Before we get into the install, let's tell you what these things are all about. So the Four Bangers, we have two different levels. We have an entry level, which uses a Nichia chip and we call this the NCS version. Now we have the secondary level. This is for the premium users, the off-roading, the top dog of pod lights. This application uses the OSRAM trip and we call it the HXB or the HX Boost. So once you decide what application level you would like, you will then move on to what driving pattern you want. We have three different patterns to choose from. Spotlight, the wide, or a combo driving pattern. We have all three patterns in an amber or white. So with our wide pattern, many people are more so drawn to the wide pattern to help increase night visibility and to use it as a fog light replacement. No matter if you choose the NCS or the HX Boost pod light, you will experience the same driving beam pattern. Now with our combo beam pattern, it is a super cool spot beam with a little bit more fill. It still stacks up to the competition very well, but remember most people will choose the white beam pattern over something like this. Now onto the spot beam pattern. Still an incredible bright beam pattern that is tight. It looks like a square that is done on purpose because we at Morimoto know a thing or two about beam patterns. All three patterns come in either a white or amber color. But one thing to note is your light output would be a little bit less with the yellow lenses. On the higher end, the HXB uses the OSRAM chip, but it doesn't come in yellow. The white light has to pass through the yellow lens and losing about 30% of its brightness. Still an incredible option. Something neat about the entry level, those Nichia chips do come in a yellow option. Having a yellow light pass through a yellow lens, it doesn't lose as much, so the light output is closely matched to that of the white counterpart. The overall footprint of the four banger is approximately 30% smaller than alternatives that offer comparable performance. This allows for an unbeatable 3 OEM Plus like fitment when paired with Morimoto's fog light or A-pillar mounting kits. With a standard and negative three degree aim, the beam pattern produced by the NCS wide beam model is designed to be compliant with the latest SAE F3 regulations for use as a street legal fog light. And the same goes for the HXB wides. And lastly, the Morimoto four bangers are backed up with a limited lifetime warranty. So enough talking about the product, let's get straight into the install. So for this install, these are the tools that you'll be using. You'll be using zip ties, a flashlight, a crimper, wire strippers, pry tool, Torx Plus in a IP30, an IP40, a T30, a ratchet of your choice, an extension, an eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 17 millimeter wrench, a Phillips head, and also self tappers. So now that you know all about the four bangers, let's go ahead and get into the install where we're gonna be doing the A pillar install and also the fog light replacements. First things first, all you have to do is get the hood popped. So with your A-pillar kit, it will actually come with a relay harness. On your harness, it'll come with a relay, a ground, positive, two Deutsch connectors for light one and two, and then also a switch harness. And with this harness, it actually comes with a Morimoto switch, which we won't be using, but you have the option of using this if you do not use the upfitter switches that Ford Bronco includes with their vehicle. So if you do not want to use a Morimoto switch, all you have to do is disconnect it from the barrel connector and then just connect the aux wire instead. Make sure to tighten this down nice and secured so that no water will get in to it later on. All right, so when installing the harness, what we're gonna do is go ahead and mount your relay harness. When installing this, make sure that it is upright, not sideways, not upside down, so that no water intrusion gets in it once the install is done. Using a self-tapping screw, go ahead and mount your relay into your engine bay. Feel free to mount this anywhere that is accessible. Now run light one up to the driver's side A-pillar. And using the provided extension harness, connect it to light two and run it over to your passenger A-pillar. You can run this harness alongside the OEM harness and feel free to tidy this up at the end. Now go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. All right, now that you disconnected the battery, what we're gonna go ahead and do is route the uh, aux harness to your upfitter area. 
Go ahead and splice off the end of the Morimoto aux wire and insert it into one end of a 20 gauge butt connector and crimp down. Pull on it slightly to ensure that it is secured. Now take the brown wire, which is aux 4, and do the same steps to that wire. Keep in mind this may be different than your Bronco, so make sure to refer to your owner's manual. All right, now with the harness ran, we're gonna go ahead and get your A-pillar brackets mounted and your four bangers on. So first things first, all you have to do is remove these two bolts right here. You'll be using a Tort Plus I-30. Once those are removed, just lift up on this plastic trim piece and pull your four banger harness up and out. All right, now that we have that lifted up, we're gonna go ahead and place your four banger into your A-pillar bracket. All you have to do is take your flat piece of your A-pillar bracket and it will actually be labeled R or L. For the right side will be your passenger side. All you have to do is place your C bracket on there, make sure that the C is facing forward, and then use the provided hardware that comes with the kit. Start with the bolt, next the washer, then the nut. Using a 17 millimeter wrench, go ahead and tighten this down, but not fully yet, so you can adjust this at the end. Next up, take your four banger of your choice and place it into your Morimoto universal bracket. Make sure to line up the two holes on the side of your four banger. Using the provided hardware, tighten down the two T20 screws. This will allow you to adjust the vertical direction of your four banger at the end of the install. With the four banger ready to go, go ahead and connect your harness and install the A-pillar bracket onto your Bronco using your OEM bolts. Head over to the driver's side and do the exact same steps. And easy as that, your A-pillar four banger bracket is installed. In our case, we went with the HXV yellow spot, or you can choose whatever variation you want when you purchase your four banger. So the last bit of the install is to go ahead and connect your power and ground for your A-pillars. But since we're doing the fog light replacements as well, we'll do that last once doing the relay for that. So speaking of the relays, this will be your fog light kit relay. It will come with two relay areas, a power and ground, six Deutsch connectors compared to the two that was on the A-pillar. But also another thing, it will not come with the Morimoto switch. It will actually only come with a aux harness so you can connect it into your outfitter switches. Take another step bit and install your Morimoto relays. We are going to install ours right beside the A-pillar relay, but feel free to install these safely wherever you please. Go ahead and strip back the Morimoto aux wire and crimp it down into a butt connector and locate the factory purple and green wire, which is aux three. So next up, what we're gonna do is go ahead and run the harness. In doing so, we're gonna go ahead and remove the grill. You do not have to do this step. You can go ahead and just fish the harness through. But in our case, we're gonna do that. That way we can get the harness nice and clean and tidied up for the install. So first things first, just remove the nine plastic clips on the top of your grill. Use a pry tool of your choice. Now go ahead and remove the plastic radiator cover and set it aside. Disconnect these two connectors. And unscrew four bolts. Once those are all out, you can pull out your grill and set it aside. Now take the longer part of the harness with the three Deutsch connectors and feed it through this opening where you can run it alongside your headlight and pull it through the bottom. After that, do the same thing to the driver's side using the shorter part of the harness. All right, now that we have the harness ran, it's time to go ahead and mount your triple four bangers into your fog light replacements for your Bronco, which is pretty simple. In your kit, it will come with this bigger bracket piece with the C brackets and then it provided hardware as well. Now, whenever doing this, you can choose whatever four bangers you want in this kit, which is a great option. You can go from the NCS HXBs, different beam patterns, and also color variation. So that's up to you. So go ahead and take your four banger of your choice, and we're gonna go ahead and start from outwards to inwards. So when mounting your four bangers, you'll be using this plate right here, and it will actually indicate if it's the left or right. If it's the L, that will be your driver's side, and if it's an R, that will be your passenger side. So all you have to do is take your C bracket, and we'll be working our way from the out to inwards. So the outward C bracket will be the smaller bracket of the kit. All you have to do is line it up just like so. Take the washer, then the bolt, and tighten them down snugly towards the back of the bracket slot using a 17 millimeter wrench, but not all the way just yet so you can adjust them later on.
Now take a four banger in the provided T20 screws and tighten them down onto the Morimoto C bracket. Go ahead and tighten these down pretty good because you will not have any room to tighten these down later, but you are still able to friction adjust it at the end. Now take the medium bracket and place it into the center slot and install your four banger in place. Last but not least, take the largest C bracket and install it into the inner slot. Repeat the same install steps as you did for the other four bangers. As easy as that, your four bangers have been mounted and installed into your tri bracket for your Bronco. So enough of talking, let's get these bad boys installed. All right, so now that we have the four bangers mounted onto the tri bracket, it's time to go ahead and mount it onto the vehicle. So with this step, you may or may not have to do this. Um, what you're gonna be doing is removing this part of the bumper and this trim piece. Reason to be is if you do have bigger size tires, which I know some of you Bronco owners like to do, you will not be able to put the four bangers in there. So with actually taking this off, you'll be able to slide it in place. Using a pry tool, go ahead and remove these four plastic push tabs on the bumper. and then just lift up on this plastic cover and set it aside. Now remove these three Torque Plus screws on the lower part of the bumper. And then these two on the upper part of the bumper. With all those removed, you now can slide this outer piece up and out of the way. Next, remove these three T40 Torque Plus screws on the underside of the top of the bumper. Now place your four banger tri-bracket in that area and using the factory screws, tighten them all down. Once that's done, go ahead and connect all three Deutsch connectors to the Morimoto harness. All right, now with all those plugged in, you can go ahead and just tuck those in and make sure that it's not interfering with anything inside your engine bay or also with the suspension and wheels of the Bronco. Now let's go ahead and head up to the battery. Go ahead and unscrew this 10 millimeter ground bolt and place both grounds onto this area and tighten it down. Next, unscrew the positive bolt located beside the fuse box and place both positives there and tighten them down. Now with the harness fully installed, place the lid back onto your fuse box and reconnect your ground terminal onto your battery. All right, now that we have everything installed and plugged in, make sure to go ahead and test out all the functions and make sure that the A-pillars do cut on in your A-pillars and also fog light replacements. And then just button everything back up and use zip ties to tighten up and make sure that harness is nice and clean. Alright, easy as that guys, your Ford Bronco has been upgraded to one of the brightest pod lights on the market today. If you want to find out what other products we have for your 2021 and up Ford Bronco, just go over to our website and put in your year, make and model, and we'll catch you guys over there.